Welcome to Science 5. How are you today? I hope you are doing great because today we are going to have another interesting topic in science. Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Verlet, your teacher in science. Before we start our lesson, here are virtual class rules. First, I want you to find a silent place where you are comfortable so that you can focus our lesson. Second, watch and listen carefully. Third, after our virtual lesson, you can ask questions to our group chat class. Our lesson for today is about effects of changing the number or types of components in a circuit. Here are the important questions about this lesson. What will happen if we add more batteries to our circuit? If we change the number of bulb or if we use long or thick wires, what could be the possible effects? So well, we will find out all the answers in this video lesson. The objective of this lesson, at the end of this course, you are expected to determine the effects of changing the number or types of components in a circuit by reading the lesson contents and doing the required learning test. Last week, you have learned about conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Before moving on, try to answer this interactive activity to prepare you as you go along. Learning Test 1. Match the given circuit parts to their appropriate functions. Number 1. Source. What is your answer? Very good. Letter C. Source is where electricity came from like batteries and generators. Number 2. Switch. What is your answer? Very good. Letter E. Switch control the flow of electricity from the source. It is used to turn on and off a load. Number 3. Wire. What is your answer? Very good. Letter D. It is the pathway of electricity from the source to the load. Number 4. Load. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A. Load is an appliance or device that uses electricity from a source like bulbs and computers. And number five, fuse. And the answer is letter B. Fuse is a safety device made from materials that easily melt even before the wires carry too much current. I have here a picture. Do you know what it is? Very good. It is a Christmas light. Do you have this at home? Alright. Christmas lights and light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuit. One is a serial circuit and the other one is a parallel circuit. To make all the bulb light up again, the circuit must be closed by replacing the busted blood bulb. Here are kinds of basic circuit. As you can see on the illustration, cir series circuit when a bulb dies, circuit breaks so all lights go out. While in parallel circuit, other bulbs remain light when one bulb goes out. Look again the illustration. Series circuit is a circuit that has only one loop or path for the electric current to flow through. If this path is broken, the current will no longer flow and all the device in the circuit will stop working. 
Series circuits are used in flashlight and some Christmas lights. While parallel circuit, it contains two or more branches or paths for electric current to flow. When path of the electric is when path of the circuit is broken, the current continues to flow through the other paths. Houses, automobiles, and most electrical systems use parallel wiring, so individual parts can be turned off without affecting the entire circuit. Effects of changing the number or types of components in a circuit. Switches. When a switch is open or off, there is a gap in a circuit. Electricity cannot travel around the circuit. While when a switch is closed, closed or on, it makes the circuit complete. Electricity can travel around the circuit. Changing number of batteries or cells. Adding more batteries to a simple circuit will increase the electrical energy which will make a bulb brighter. Changing number of bulbs. Adding more bulbs to a simple circuit will make the bulbs dimmer. Changing length of wires. Lengthening the wires in a simple circuit will make the bulb dimmer. The longer the wire, the more the resistance, so less electric current can flow and the bulb dimmer. Changing thickness of wire. Thicker wire in a simple circuit will make the bulb brighter. The thicker the wire, the less the resistance, so more electric current can flow. Now, Let's have an activity. Learning Task 2. Read and analyze the questions about electric circuit. Number 1. A path of electricity is blank. Number 2. Which is not a circuit? Number 3. A circuit that has one path to follow is called blank. Number 4. The part of circuit that allows things to be turned on and off is the blank. Number 5. What will happen if one bulb is in a set of Christmas lights arranged in a parallel connection is taken out? Learning Task 3. Write through if the statement about effects of of changing the number or type of components in a circuit is correct or false if it is not. Number 1. Electricity can travel around the circuit when the switch is open or off. A close or on switch makes the circuit complete. Number 3. Adding more batteries to a circuit will make the bulb steamer. Number 4. Adding more batteries to a simple circuit will increase the electrical energy. And number five, putting more bulbs in a simple circuit will make the bulb steamer. Let us check. Learning task two. What is your answer in number one? Very good. Letter D. Number two. What is your answer? Very good. Letter D. Number 3. Letter C. Number 4. Letter B. And number 5. Letter C. Now, let us check your answers in learning task 3. Number one, what is your answer? Very good, false. Number two, true. Number three, 
false very good number four true very good and lastly number five very good true remember class that a series circuit is when now one bulb dies circuit breaks so all lights go out while in parallel circuit when one bulb dies the other bulbs remain lights adding more batteries to a simple circuit will increase the electrical energy which will make a bulb brighter adding more bulbs to a simple circuit will make the bulbs dimmer lengthening the wires in a simple circuit will make the bulb dimmer the longer the wire the more the resistance so less electric current can flow and the bulb dimmer thicker wire in a simple circuit will make the bulb brighter the thicker the wire the less the resistance so more electric current can flow I hope you learn our lesson for today but before I end this video lesson I want you to give an inspirational quote education is the most powerful we weapon which you can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela goodbye everyone I hope you enjoy our video lesson see you next week